Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself and today we are going to talk about the top 10 things that you need if you wanna have a mindset for healing. So these are the top 10 things that people who actually go from being really, really sick to actually healing themselves. These are the top 10 things that they do to achieve a healing mindset. The first thing that these people do is believe that they can heal. So if you want to have a true mindset for healing, then you need to believe that you can do it. Believe that you can heal. Because if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't think it's possible, if you think it's gonna take a long time, if you only think you can heal 50% or 60% or 70%, then that's all you're gonna heal. If you think it's gonna take two years or three years, then that is the time that it is gonna take you to heal. If you think it's gonna take decades, that's what's gonna happen. You have to believe in what you want. You have to be able to say, I am gonna heal, I'm gonna heal quickly. I know I'm capable, I know I'm smart, I know I can find the way and I believe. I believe that I can and will heal. So that is the first thing that you must do if you wanna have a true mindset for healing. You need to believe that you can actually heal. The second trait that people with a mindset for actual healing have is that they never give up. It doesn't matter if they fall down once, twice, three times, a hundred times, they get back up every time. They see failure as an opportunity to learn, as an opportunity to grow, as an opportunity to move forward in some way. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter how bad it hurts what the symptoms are, what the day is like, they get up the next day and they begin to try again. So it doesn't matter if you get pushed down. It doesn't matter how bad this chronic illness is beating you up. If you want to heal, then you need a mindset for healing and that mindset means that you have committed to yourself that no matter what, you are never gonna give up. You're gonna see this through. You're gonna rise to see another day and you are gonna keep going keep up the fight. This mindset is critical for people who heal. The next thing you can do to get into a true healing mindset is to take action. People who heal take action. They take aligned action with things that they think have a chance to heal them. They actually consistently take an action towards healing. They don't just learn about it, they don't just read about it, they don't just think about it, but they actually do it and then they do more. So taking action, taking more action, taking harder action, taking consistent action. Taking action is the mindset of a healing champion. So if you wanna change your mindset and get into a mindset for healing, then you need to learn how to start taking action keep taking action even when it's hard and take more action even when you're not sure you can take more action. That is one of the key traits of having a healing mindset. The truth is you're never gonna heal unless you take action. You can think about it all day, you can read about it all day, but if you're not actually doing something and then doing more than you think that you can, then you're not pushing yourself. You're not really trying. You're not really following through. You're not being consistent. And these are the things that actually heal people. So even when it's hard, you need to match your goal with the action you're gonna take. And, and that goal can be little. These things can be little. They don't have to be huge things, but the consistency of continuing to take an action over and over is where you see results, is where you build results. And doing more, learning more, doing more, trying more, these actions are the actions of a healing champion. And especially if you have the mindset that we talked about earlier, which is to never give up, which is to keep getting up, then even if these actions don't work, you're gonna shift your actions. You're gonna take different actions. You're gonna learn something, you're gonna grow, but you're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep getting back up and you're gonna keep taking action consistently. The fourth thing you can do if you want to have a true healing mindset is change your self-talk. You need to begin to change what you say to yourself, what you allow yourself to think. The kinds of things that you say to yourself, are they loving? Are they nasty? Are they supportive? Are they encouraging? Are they kind? Are they the kind of things 
that are gonna help keep you going, that are gonna help build your self-esteem, build your morale? Or do you use limiting self-talk? Do you focus on the negative? Do you say, do you allow yourself to sit in victim consciousness or focus on limiting beliefs? Say negative things to yourself. You have to internally switch your self-talk. The people who heal, the people who have a true mindset for healing, change what they say to themselves. They change their internal self-talk. And this takes work. This isn't easy. These are patterns and beliefs and behaviors that are deeply ingrained and deeply subconscious and you have to catch them. Become aware when you are not talking nicely to yourself. Be aware when you're saying a limiting thought or a limiting belief to yourself. And then you have to be committed to changing that talk, changing that self-talk, changing that inner dialogue, changing your beliefs, changing your worldview, changing anything and everything, changing that internal talk that you say to yourself. If you're gonna continue to talk with limiting beliefs to yourself, talk negatively to yourself, you are not gonna get to healing very fast. This is something that needs to be changed. You need to work on this consistently. You need to get into a mindset that talks positively about your situation, that talks lovingly, that speaks encouragingly, that has you believe that you can do this. If you are not communicating this to yourself at a very deep level, then it is very, very difficult to heal. So this is something that cannot be understated. You must change your self-talk. The fifth thing that people do who heal themselves is they experiment and they think outside the box. If you want to change your mindset and have a true mindset for healing and become the kind of person who can heal, these types of people experiment often. They do these N equals one experiments. They're consistent with them. They're diligent with them. They see what works and what doesn't work for their own body. And they are willing to think outside the box try all kinds of different things, experiment with different things. Just doing the same thing over and over, day in and day out, isn't likely to change your situation. So being willing to think outside the box and experiment in different ways is really important when you're healing. Not in radical ways that are going to set you into a flare or set you back, but consistently reassessing what you're doing, reassessing the situation, even small experiments can be good. How can you change something slightly? How can you add or subtract something that you're doing that could make a significant change to how you are feeling? How can adding something or taking something away, being willing to try something that somebody else has already confirmed that is working or has worked for them. If you hear this over and over, but you're afraid and you're not willing to experiment with it or think outside the box or how you can apply that to your own situation, then you're limiting yourself. So this is a quality of somebody who has a real true healing mindset is that they really are willing to experiment on themselves. They're willing to look at things in different ways, think outside the box, apply lessons and wisdom that other people have given them to their own situation and their own life in their own way. This can make all the difference to your healing. The sixth thing that you can do to have a true healing mindset is to build momentum. Once you've started doing something, a certain protocol, going in a certain direction, your mindset is shifting. Any little thing, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, emotional healing, anything that you're seeing some progress from, some lift from, some relief in symptoms from, some healing benefit from, build momentum with it. Go, go all in with that really learn more and do more and take more action around the things that are working. Build momentum with your mindset. Build momentum with anything that lifts you up, that moves you forward, that is shown to help you in any way. If you're noticing a pattern, if you're noticing something that's working, if you're noticing even the smallest amount of shifts, then you want to build momentum around that. So don't just do little things and then let them go. Build momentum around what's working. This is 
how people gain big leaps in healing is they notice something, they become aware of something that's working for them or that feels good or that resonates deeply with them and they build momentum around this thing. They start to incorporate more actions. They start to do more of it. They start to allow themselves to build momentum of positive and forward movement. So if ever you're noticing something that's working, then don't put something else in the way that it has been shown not to work or you haven't seen results from. Go to the thing that is actually showing you some results and build some momentum around it. This is really key for healing. The seventh thing that you can do if you want to create this champion healing mindset is to be grateful. This is a very difficult one when you are ill, when you're chronically ill, when you're suffering. But the more things you can look at and be grateful for, little moments of relief, little moments of happiness, relationships in your life, food, shelter, love, a friend, anything that you can be grateful for at all, access to information, access to books, access to podcasts, when you can find something to be grateful for, this expands you. This helps you see the good in your situation. It helps you see the good in the world. It helps you know there is good. And when you can start to see the good, you can start to feel the good. And when you can start to feel this gratitude, this thankfulness, even for small things in your life, you can build on that. You can build momentum of gratitude. You can build the energy of how it feels when you're grateful for something. And it helps you to look for positives in your own situation. It helps you to look for the positives in your healing journey, what you might be learning, how you might be growing, how you might be expanding, what is still left in your life that's good. What can you hold on to? What can you think about? What can you cultivate? What can you grow? Why are you doing this? What are you grateful for? What beautiful things do you want in your life after you're healed? When we start to see gratitude, even in the smallest ways, we start to build a mindset for feeling more grateful all around. And then we start to see the beauty in life. We start to see the beauty in this healing journey. We start to, to know what's important to us, what we want in our life when we're done with this healing journey. And it just puts us in a state in an energetic state that draws more good to us when we can appreciate even very, very small things that are going right for us or that we're still blessed to have in our life, even if we are in, you know, the very depths of chronic illness. And focusing on this can be hard, but it can be helpful when we start to build this gratitude muscle. Number eight, if you want to develop the mindset of a healing champion, you can forgive yourself. Forgiving others is wonderful. Letting go of grudges, letting go of this energy that is holding you where you are. Forgiving yourself for getting into the situation. Forgiving yourself for not being able to figure it out yet. Forgiving yourself for your part in any of this. Forgiving yourself is one of the most important things that you can do along this healing journey. And it will put you into the mindset of a healing champion because people who heal don't hold on. They forgive themselves and they forgive others freely, easily, fast, as quick as you can. You want to forgive and let go. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to, but it's their fault, but they did this to me, or but I did this thing, but I can't forgive myself for this. You have to be able to let go. Love yourself, love yourself enough to let go of whatever is holding you where you are. When you forgive yourself and everyone else, you're no longer stuck where you are. You are free to move forward. You're free to heal. You're free to leave that part of your journey behind you and turn towards something new. But as long as we keep dragging it along behind us, as long as we keep dragging all our regrets, all our disappointments, all our wishes, if only we could go back and do that over again, 
if only something could be different. If we can just let go of these grudges and these vendettas and this need to right the wrong that has been done, whether it's by somebody else or ourselves, if we can forgive and let go, if we can let it go and realize we can't right that wrong, it's over and we, we want to lay it down now. We want to let it go. It's, it's weighing us down. It is a weight that is holding us and keeping us stuck where we are. And so if you want to have a healing mindset, a true healing mindset, then you must learn to forgive and forgive yourself. The ninth thing you can do if you want to develop the mindset of a healing champion is to be willing to change everything you know and everything you believe. So be willing to change your entire identity, every single belief that you have, everything that is holding your worldview together, everything that you are holding in, that you're holding tightly to, that makes you who you are, all these beliefs that create the person who you are, you need to be willing to let go of all of them, every single belief that you hold. You need to be able to challenge it, to have it challenged, to completely let it go and be willing to choose a new belief, a new identity, a new trait for yourself. So everything that you think you know, even about healing, you need to be able to be willing to let it all go, to change every single thing that you know. You need to be that open that you could just wipe a slate clean, like wipe off a chalkboard, shake up that Etch-a-Sketch and be willing to start over with any of it at any point. So we don't wanna marry to our beliefs. We don't wanna marry to our personality, to our physical and emotional traits and beliefs and values and our entire worldview. We need to be able to shift anything on a dime because when you can shake things up, when you can just erase it or shake that etch a sketch and say, I'm willing to let this belief completely go and say, I don't know anything. Maybe I'm completely wrong about this. Maybe I don't need to believe this at all. When we're willing and able to be that free, then we start to adopt beliefs that actually work for us. We start to be able to adopt traits that work for us a worldview that benefits where we are, beliefs and values that benefit who we are. And we start to be able to adapt ourselves and change and grow and expand in meaningful ways that are gonna help you heal, that are gonna take you to the level of healing that you want to go to. Often we're stuck because we can't let go or we won't let go of something we think is true, something that we're holding on to, a belief or an identity that we're holding on to, and we just don't want to let go of. But when we can be willing to change everything and anything that we think or believe, we begin to evolve and grow and expand at a rapid rate. And this truly helps your healing. So if you want to build a mindset of healing, this is something that you absolutely must do and you are going to see your healing expand. You're gonna watch things go faster, move faster. Your journey is going to take less time when you're in the mindset of I'm open and ready and willing to change anything and everything, to grow and expand in whatever ways the universe is asking of me so that I can heal. And the last trait that you need if you want to become a healing champion is to love yourself unconditionally. Self-love cannot be understated. Self-love is everything. Loving yourself deeply and unconditionally, no matter what kind of day you're having, no matter how far away you are from achieving your goals, no matter how horrible you feel, no matter how many mistakes you've made, no matter how many times you've failed, no matter what you've done or what you do, if you love yourself unconditionally and promise to yourself, make this one promise, that you will love yourself unconditionally no matter what, no matter where this healing journey goes, no matter how long it takes, 
No matter what you do or don't do, no matter how many times you fall and get back up, even if you're angry at yourself for something that you're not doing right, if you love yourself, you will never abandon yourself. And then it will be so much easier to adopt every single other necessary trait of a healing champion that I just discussed in this video. It all hinges on how much do you love yourself. If you truly love yourself unconditionally and you will never abandon yourself, you will never give up on yourself, you will never stop loving yourself, no matter what, you will speak kind messages of love to yourself, then everything else in this video will be easier to do. Your entire healing journey will be easier to do if you can love yourself at every moment during the day. If you can find out how to talk to yourself, how to show yourself, how to mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically show yourself and give yourself love. If you can believe that you will always be there for yourself, that you will always love yourself. If you can truly know this in the depths of your being, then there isn't any way that you can't heal because you will never give up on yourself. You will automatically start to become and do every single trait that I just told you. This will come easy if you love yourself. This is one of the greatest gifts that you can give yourself on your self healing journey is to know yourself and love yourself deeply and unconditionally, no matter what, no matter what happens. This is a true gift. This will help you grow as a person, evolve as a person. This self-love you will take with yourself through this healing journey and beyond, even when you're healed, even when you're living your life. This will never leave you, this self-love, if you can build it now at your lowest of lows, at your hardest points in your life. Because it is then when you need your love the most. It's then when you need to feel that unconditional, I will never abandon you, I will never stop loving you, I will be here for you in your corner, and I am here to love you the way you need to be loved forever, period. And if you can do that at your lowest of lows, then you will be able to do that at your highest highs. And this is a gift that will keep giving to yourself and then to others to your relationships and to the world as you grow. Because if you love yourself, then you can love everything and everyone. So if you do these 10 things, you will start to build the mindset of a healing champion. I promise you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. It will really help this channel and I would really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.